everyone, what's up? It's me here, Megan the Makeup Artist, and I'm back at you with another video. Today we're sitting down with our nice warm coffee. I got my sweater on, my sweatpants are on, no makeup, glasses. Sorry if I play with my hair a little bit. I mean, I'm sure as you guys can tell, I am back to my natural color and I love it. I love it. I missed it. I don't know why I was so adamant about going blonde, which is, you know, I was, I had that balayage. So I had like more of a lighter brown up here and then it faded to like a nice little sandy blonde down here. I was so adamant about doing that. And I was like that for a couple of months, as you guys know, but I just had this strong pull to go back to my natural me. I have a feeling I know why that is and I'm sure I'll touch upon it in this video. So, no makeup, glasses, we're here to just talk. First things first, a lot of questions that I get asked to do or talk about is my glasses. So I'm not gonna sit here and make you guys wait. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I do plan on going to the eye doctor this year. I don't know if this video will, this video will be up before I even go to the eye doctor. So I'm going to the eye doctor um, to go and see if my prescription has changed, what I'm doing with that. Um, I'm probably just going to stay in these glasses and get new contacts, um, but I'm super curious to see if my vision has changed. My vision didn't change much last time when I went to the eye doctor. As you guys know, I made a whole video on that. So um, I do plan on going to the eye doctor soon, so there should be a vision update coming soon for all of you guys. Um, I know that's like one of my most requested videos ever is something to do with my glasses, which is no big deal. but. It's just kind of um, something that I don't really have much to talk about. I did two videos. I did a part one and a part two on my vision growing up and it changing and how my life was when I was younger. I can, um, you know, have a link to those down below if you guys want to go and watch them. Okay, so life update. What do I want to talk about? Um... Well, let's see, it's the beginning of the new year, so let's talk about and reflect on 2017, and then we will talk about what I hope for, for myself in 2018. All right, so 2017 was definitely by far one of my most hardest years for myself. It wasn't like, it, I say that meaning it was one of the hardest years in here for me. Um, I had to deal with a lot of stuff internally that I had not dealt with and that was hard. Moved into this apartment in September, right after my birthday actually. Go Team Virgo! When I was here by myself, it really brought out a lot of emotions inside of me that I did not deal with. I was always living with my parents. I was always either living with a boyfriend or living with you know my ex-husband. Um, I was never by myself. So this was the first time I was by myself and it really like it really hit me. Um, I have a lot of issues. I by far, do not have the worst life on this planet. And I'm not saying all of this to say that I do. I'm just throwing that out there as a disclaimer. People definitely have it worse than I do, but um, this is just my story and what I've been through. But because of all of my issues that I had never worked on in here, everything was just, I, it was like vomit coming out. It was just like all of these issues because I'd never been on my own. So here I am being able to afford this apartment and I'm still having issues. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like I know in the back of my head, I know I can afford this. So why am I still having issues? Like what is going on? So that 
struggle and what happened like what happened um at the beginning at the beginning of the year stuff i didn't deal with stuff i didn't deal with with my ex-husband the boyfriend before that all of these emotions and issues that i've had internally and had not dealt with all started coming out and i was taking it out of my best friend and remind you my best friend is the one that has my back the one that gave me this apartment the one that makes sure that you know I'm good I'm taking it out on this person and that wasn't right so um, you know he was being patient with me for months and finally just like snapped I snapped and um, just it, it it wasn't good. <laughs> um, I thought that I'd lost my best friend, all of this other stuff, but it forced me to look in here. And that I have never done before, and that was so hard. Growing and changing as a person is not easy, is not easy, and that's what I was starting to do. I was starting to look inside myself, look at my issues, and deal with them, and that is not easy and it's all of these issues that have been in my life for so long that I've just pushed back or I just didn't want to deal with at the time I'll deal with them later like and if you do that it makes it a hundred times worse take it from me that's exactly what I did and I took it out of my best friend and I almost lost my best friend because of it I sat with myself for four days and I figured out a lot about myself um, I did some research I signed up to go to mindfulness therapy I did all of this stuff I sat with myself I meditated like really did my yoga but like really did it not like going through the motions or anything like that I bought books I did a lot of stuff right but changing and growing about like as a person is not about you know all of that I mean it starts with that but then you have to put in the work you have to put in the work and that is the hard part so that is why 2017 was my hardest year because I was putting in the work to change myself to be a better version of me not completely change myself I'm sorry I didn't mean that but to be a better version of me and work with my issues and figure them out and why am I doing this for this way and then once you understand that you can take the lesson from it and be able to be a better you then once you can start to understand your issues and where they stem from and why you're doing the things you're doing you can start to be a better version of you and then that's when you start to cultivate self-love and that's really hard that's really hard in this society that we live in now and you know once you start cultivating self-love that's when you start getting true happiness and um, I'm honestly it took me all year but I'm honestly just starting that journey for me I was in a, a very like emotional arguer at this point you couldn't tell me nothing I wasn't humble I'm still working on that though still working on being humble um I will say that it's not easy um, <laughs> um and I'm a very logical person I'm a double Virgo which means my moon sign and my sun sign are both Virgo um, which is rare to have your moon sign and your sun sign be the same thing but um, being that does not make me be a very perspective person because I'm only seeing one side, which is the Virgo, and the, that makes me very logical. This is what I'm learning about myself. So, um, you know, and then that that makes me look at myself and go, "Well, you need to uh, work on this because you know." And actually, me and my best friend had that conversation the other, the other day: is that everything doesn't make sense. And for my Virgo mind, it was like, no, it has to make perfect sense. It has to make sense for me to, you know, and he's like, no, 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 no. Not everything makes sense. Everything is not black. Everything is not white. And my therapist told me the same thing. And I've been seeing her for a while and it's really been helping. And, um, you know, therapy is not something to be ashamed of. Um, I didn't go for the longest time because... 
I just was like, you know, the stigma that society puts on therapy is that crazy people go to therapy. That's not true. Um, I chose mindfulness therapy because it is a more spiritual approach, which I am, as you can tell. <laughs> um, so that's why I chose mindfulness therapy, and that might not work for everybody, but I love it. I love my therapist. She's amazing. Um, she's helped me think about things. But that's the other thing about therapy that people don't understand is that therapy is not there to fix you. You have to fix you. Um, your therapist is there to guide you, but you have to figure it out for yourself and you have to put in your work. They can't fix you. They're just there to help you and guide you and maybe think, help you think about uh, things in a different light, which is what I needed help with among a lot of other things. <laughs> so I've been doing a lot better with dealing with my issues because I'm, I'm actually finally dealing with them. I mean, <laughs> but the longer you put your issues off, the worse it's going to be, the harder it's going to deal, be able to deal with. But I will tell you this, life is like a circle. So what comes around, like you, you come up with an issue right here. You don't deal with that issue. You're like, oh, okay, okay. Well, guess what? It's going to come back around until you deal with it. So that's the other thing I've learned too. <laughs> Life is going to smack you in the face with your lessons that you were supposed to learn. I can't talk. <laughs> but life is going to smack you in the face with the lessons you're supposed to learn. And guess what? If you didn't learn it the first time, it's going to hit you again and again and again until you learn that lesson. And that's the thing about life. So you either are willing to learn the lesson or you're just going to keep putting it off and life is going to keep smacking you upside the head until one day it finally like trips you and you fall and you really get hurt and then you finally learn that lesson. So we either want to learn the lesson the first time around or we want to learn it the hard way. You have to put in the work every day. It just doesn't stop there one day. It keeps going and that's the one thing I had to learn too. The other big lesson I had to learn was to, um, well, like I said earlier, to be humble, but to not question everything. So I have, I'm still learning to be humble. I'm not, I'm not there yet. Um, and to not question everything. And essentially all of that means I'm trying to conquer and overcome my ego, <laughs> um, which your ego is a whole different, like that's its own video in itself. So I'm not even going to dive deep into this. But for those of you that know what your ego is, conquering it or overcoming it is really hard. Anyways, that is why 2017 was my hardest year because I was self-reflecting, self-growth and self-love. Trying to get to true happiness. So. If you guys liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a whole bunch of comments down below what you guys, you know, any of the questions that I asked you, go ahead and answer them. Um, like I said, I love hearing from you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I appreciate all of you. I do all of these videos, not only for myself, but for you guys, because you guys are watching them. So I appreciate you. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!